Uh, ooh. Okay, cool. Next one. Let's see if we have this. We have some great news, amazing news actually. One of the best pieces of news out here. Um, we have some further details uh, regarding the Tom Sachs Nike Mars Yard 2.5s that are due to come out sometime, I guess, in the next few months. Um, so far, what we've seen is that they're pushing out this sort of Nike craft wear test thing, where you basically um, submit your application to be a wear tester for the shoe, give your feedback, and kind of contribute to the overall makeup of the shoe. Which I don't really believe. I just think it's a bit of a good exercise to kind of get people through the funnel and obviously to kind of um, sell the shoe in a completely different way i think the first time they went around selling the mars yard that i have the 2.0s they did this whole like um fitness um body conditioning sort of thing i'm pretty sure it might have been um also a spin on a hero's journey story as well they probably added to it but they're really good with kind of providing um accessory materials to sneaker releases and making it less about the fetishization of a shoe and putting in a perspex box and more so about people actually wearing a shoe day to day and you know uh putting it through its paces as most shoes should be and i even like the fact that they purposely um made the sole of the mars yard a particular composite that basically attracts dirt there's no way of keeping the mars yard for the most part clean and um it kind of inspired a whole bunch of people to you know like i've done sketch on the midsole write some snappy logo um get them fucked up on purpose like mine are i don't i don't have them here at the moment but mine are completely brutalized trash trash trashed so i, I love the fact that they kind of did that and sort of um made it made it one of the only shoes i've released in recent years that's really expensive on stock i think it's it goes for a grand still on stock x it's resale price for it is insane but it's also very coveted you don't really find a lot of box fresh pairs of mars yards they just don't exist because they've all been worn by people and people cherish the shoes they they wear them to absolute bits and i love that about them so this is an article here from hypebeast it says the following Nike and Tom Sachs are inviting you to be a sneaker, to be to be a Nike Craft Mars Yard 2.5 wear tester. Um, so let's watch the video and then we can continue. Come on, press, 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 so, so, so in case you're um, listening to the podcast only, you have this um, video of Tom Sachs on a treadmill and various picture, various people within a Tom Sachs studio are throwing all manner of, um, you know, objects and concrete blocks and wooden planks um, uh, at him as he's running on the, on the treadmill to obviously get a little bit of an idea of how the shoes respond to some very treacherous conditions. Failure is an opportunity for improvement. Wow. And again, oh, so good, the shoe is so beautiful. So they're essentially the same as the shoe that I have at the moment, but they've basically updated the they've updated the outer materials. So they look like they're waterproof. I'm not sure what material they've made out of, whether it's Gore-Tex or something else. Um, they then added this really amazing uh, rubberized toe box at the front, which is possibly a kind of nod to making them somewhat, um, you know, um, uh, resistance to like, no, making it somewhat similar to like a steel toe, a steel toe cap boot, right? That's probably what they've, they've kind of garnered the, the idea behind them. And maybe there's been a lot of feedback around people that are wearing them, who have been wearing them to the studio, right? Or to they're just going to, going about doing whatever they're doing in the city, um, putting them into bike clips, whatever they may be. So that might be kind of where the inspiration came from in general. Because I did see a lot of people who are kind of within the arts um community and all this malarkey wearing them day to day and having those kind of be their everyday wears um especially when they first came out so maybe that's probably where the inspiration come from i'm not too sure let's continue testing in a controlled environment Oof, only so good so far look how good they look man eventually you need the real world Versatility breeds durability. I love everything about them. And it, and, it, and it might be one of the most perfect colorways that exists, no? Don't you guys think? Like the mixture of that, the brown and the red and that striking red swoosh, uh, brown upper, off-white midsole or the bone colored midsole, um, the black tread on the outside, like just the perfect colorway. And they're so striking from a distance. Like I sometimes wear them into the gym because I've had them for flipping ages and they're, you know, on their last legs. Um, 
but they still get a lot of compliments. And it, yeah, that's the thing. That the only shoe that I have, um, lim- well, not limited, but the only kind of rare quote unquote shoe that I have that regular people compliment a lot. You remember when Yeezys first came out? Now not so because I think people are used to the shape and you know you can get kind of copies of the Yeezy type of shoe in Primark. But you know when Yeezys first came out, people were like, oh, they look really interesting, they look really comfortable because they had like a sock design that really fit sole. You didn't really see that model or shape anywhere. So I think that maybe the same thing with the Mars Yards, but it's something about the Mars. Maybe it's the makeup of the colors because I think a lot of dudes like brown shoes and boots and the kind of workman like um, look of them. They're very, uh, they're very kind of. Uh, they 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 they're sort of contemporary without being too faffy, right? But they're very workmanlike in that respect. So you get a lot of compliments. I have anyway for just regular, you know, regular average day uh, people coming up to, especially dudes saying, "Oh, I really like those shoes. Where are they? Where can I get them from?" And it's also interesting too that they've never retro the shoe. This model's never been retroed. They just keep it within the Mars, within the Tom Sachs Mars Yard sort of ecosystem, and that's it, which is very odd. Nike always love to like make a cool shoe, make a cool model, and then just completely rinse it by making it a GR in loads of different different colorways. And like I said before, if they did make this into a GR, I'd buy every single colorway in doubles easily. In the studio, we are specialists. So good. We are athletes. <laughs> we push our equipment to meet our unique demands. It is so good. There is a limit to what we can anticipate. Science is knowing what you don't know. We need your help. Look how good they look. Look how good they look of a shoe. They, they look completely elevate the guys looked, huh? Don't you think so? Come on, man. Help us find the sweet spots. Help us find the weak points. Help us wear these shoes to death. Actually, let, let me get mine. So I'll, sh I'll show you mine, actually. So keep playing this. To join our wear testing program, post a one minute video to your Instagram feed. The opening shot must list your Instagram handle, your location, and your shoe size. Explain why you want to join. Tag Tom Sachs and use the hashtag NikeCraftWearTester so we see it. That doesn't matter now because it's already gone past already. Do you take these shoes to have and to hold, to wear and to tear, and document daily. Can't really see the shoes. Do you swear to return these shoes upon completion of the experiment? So cool. We require hard work and commitment. This is a collaboration. This is your chance to leave your mark. How cool is that, no? How cool is that? How amazing is that to see? And again, I'm a big fan of the shoe, as you can see with my pair here. They're completely battered, right? I wrote on the bottom of them a little bit. The soles are all smashed up, as you can see here from the bottom. Um, the shoe itself has no insole because I know I don't wear insoles. I chuck them out straight away. Um, yeah, they're just they just they just they so they worn so much that they're completely bold on the bottom actually from all the tread and shit but they're easily one of my favorite shoes and i've worn mine like you know every especially when i got them you can as you can tell i wore them every single day I, i'm gonna say for at least a year easy at least a year i used to wear them every single day to work like one of my favorite shoes and again i love the sole i love that they, they kind of kept the sole basically updated the upper somewhat i think on mine it's just basically a mesh sort of you know on the side so the this is the worst shoe to wear in the rain now at the moment this current models but this model will also be um weatherproof so definitely upgrade it somewhat 
And um, yeah, man, I'm really happy to see that they've basically updated it. Um, again, these are the other one. I think the right pair is a lot more worn than the other one, actually. It's got even the inside of here. It's been a bit battered, as you can see. But I love them, man. Easily one of my favorite shoes. Easily, easily, easily. I can't wait to get another pair. Hopefully, I do get another pair. I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen because Nike flipping sneakers app is one of the worst things to ever exist for sneakerheads out there but i'm hoping fingers crossed that things change somehow between now and then but again i love the i just love the idea that they're kind of promoting it in this way they're sort of kind of pushing this idea that you should be wearing your shoes they're pushing the idea of wearing your wear testing it which kind of harkens back to the days of old with nike wear test and people that used to kind of especially skaters used to go out and basically tape their shoes up so people wouldn't see what they were and they would kind of report back findings on midsoles and uppers and shit that was a really clever world back in the day now Nike don't need to do that because they probably have, you know, the facilities and the money and the expertise to kind of do that shit behind closed doors or sometimes even remotely. But there was a time back in the day when that was a big thing. Like you'd kind of get, you know, you'd get seeded. The people that get seeded are celebrities, the people that get seeded for just wear testing stuff. They kind of give back, you know, notes on where the, like, for instance, like this one at the moment, one of the things I'd say that I don't like about it is the tongue. When you tie your laces, it kind of like moves around too much. And I don't like putting it through that hoop at the, on the tongue, on the, on the book, on the actual tongue. They've got a hoop on it to put it through. So when you tie them up, your your tongue sort of moves around too much, um, in my opinion there. Um, but apart from that, you know, again, a perfect, perfect shoe. One of my absolute favorites. I can't wait to get another one when they do release sometime very soon. As you can tell here, I'm going to get a little screenshot there for myself. Like, ee -hee 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 -hee. Um, but yeah, hopefully they come out another one. And I get them very, very soon. Again, I don't know when they're due to come out. I think they're due to come out. I'm I'm going to say sometime this year because I'm guessing it might be delayed due to COVID because I'm sure there was a whole activation plan around them, the same they did with these, where they kind of had a whole little um, workout thing that they were doing. But let's see. Hopefully, they come out very soon. Hopefully, we get an idea of it. I'm jealous of everyone that did a wear test. Um, let me know if you have got a pair already and how you're liking them.